Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. I am Camila and today I'll be talking uh, a little about plein air painting and uh, especially using gouache with it. I am uh, fairly new in this uh, type of art so I'm, I'm still experimenting and also I'll do a um, product review for the first time in English here in this channel and I will talk about the um, cup easel I bought this um, in May of this year and now we are in August so yeah I use it like uh, some uh, uh, five ten times five six times I don't know exactly but uh, it's from a company here in Canada and British, British Columbia I live in Quebec so it took it took just uh, some days to arrive and compare it with other uh, brands of uh, uh, pochette uh, easel uh, pochette I don't know exactly how to say uh, it was one of the less expensive so I'm, I'm just saying it's not a sp sponsored a video it could be though <laughs> but uh, I will give my honest opinion about it I will use the, um, the top view so we can see better the details but uh, I will just open here for you to, to, to start so it comes with an elastic band with, um, with this clip um, it comes already mounted with this, uh, with the screws and everything. There is um, a, a little drawer that you can buy separately, and um, here I, you 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 put the cup. I use a um, Faber Castell one that I already had and uh, it works perfectly it fits perfectly here there are some holes for the um, for the brushes uh, I think that's the only only thing that I would change is to put more holes here <laughs> but uh, I, maybe I would try to do my own I'm just a little scared of uh, breaking the um, the wood but uh, maybe I will try soon I'll ask my boyfriend there is uh, the, a tray uh, you can buy different ones but uh, uh, I believe the basic uh, uh, the standard uh, product it comes with uh, one tr that tray and there is like this um, this uh, tray for the for the paints I use for gouache and uh, that's it it's a fairly um, light uh, you can it fits in a bag and uh, you can put uh, in a tripod there is like this um, mount thing uh, or you can use on the on the table too but uh, I think it's really perfect for outside I use this little bag to transport it um, my aunt uh, gave me last time that I went to Brazil so obrigada uh, Angelica. <laughs> this is a A5 A6 actually a sketchbook by Moleskine watercolor the water container by Faber Castell that I use uh, in the cup easel uh, frog tape, painter tape, I don't know how to call it <laughs> anyway, tape uh, a water bottle spray to activate the gouache oops um, <laughs> my brushes I have uh, uh, some brushes from uh, Winsor & Newton fan brushes like the Tommy King use not, not the same brand though but 
uh, I saw him use it and I wanna try. And uh, some dyes or ones that I had for a long time in Brazil. Uh, this is f uh, quite new uh, gouache set that I have from Hobai. Before I was using the Mia Himi one. Uh, I, st I bought this one that's uh, more expensive. A uh, little towel to paint. And a white gouache by Pebel. It's a, a permanent white uh, uh, color. White is the, the color that we use most in gouache, so I put a separate uh, one, a tube. So yeah, this is um, the easel with the more, uh, more details. Uh, you can see better, I guess, with this top view. Uh, I use the magnet like this to, <laughs> to put the, the, the towel. Uh, some of my colors. Um, the little drawer. It's so cool that uh, it it's expandable and fits perfectly with the water container by Faber Castell. You can buy by their own brand too in the website, especially if you use. Uh, with the uh, oils, I, I believe oils melt the plastic. So, and uh, yeah, uh, my brushes they are a little thin, so it doesn't fit very well with the holes. Just the the big one. I usually do in small size for thumbnails, so I don't use very much big brushes. So yeah, it uh, it fits. Well, I will talk a little about my my paintings that I did with this. I I've been experimenting with gouache <laughs> for quite some time, but uh, hey, these clips are flying. But uh, one thing I would say. It's uh, to start, start small, like uh, this uh, little paintings like this. This is a five moleskin sketchbook. I'm not very, very proud of, uh, pr proud of this uh, sketches. Uh, sorry, my English, sometimes I... By the way, I'm doing YouTube videos in English to, to practice it. So, uh, this one I did in Brazil. I went to Brazil this year and uh, it was really fun to do plein air on the beach. <laughs> on the beach. Beach. I, I have some problems to pronounce this word. Uh, and this one uh, are here in uh, in in Montreal South, uh, South Shore, where I live. Um, I did this one yesterday of my little bicycle. I did this one uh, here. Uh, the, the other cat here. I, I have a, a reel on Instagram that you can see all the um, me painting all the process. Uh, I will be adding also some of this uh, footage here, but the good thing of the YouTube is that I can comment on the things and I can talk about with more details and uh, Instagram is just 30 seconds tuk, 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 tuk. <laughs> uh, YouTube I can I can uh, Even though I don't speak very well, I can try to explain better This one I consider a fail. <laughs> I did this uh, last year uh, and uh, I didn't have the cup easel before. Uh, one thing I would say if you're starting with the plein air, 
gouache. Don't do something this big, like a, a double spread of, um, of a A5, because it takes it takes a lot of time, and uh, I was very frustrated with this one. I will show you some of other uh, things that I use for plain air. So this is um, the little bag that comes with the, the tripod. It's a um, very light one. Before I was using my boyfriend's one that was very big and uh, it was he used more for photo and uh, this one uh, is very cool because it's not very very heavy and um, it, the, I can attach the the mount that is in the cup cup easel that I already left there. Oh yeah, I um, I really recommend the the cup easel to start. So when I was in Brazil, my aunt, my godmother, gave me a little bag for painting. I I customized it a little. <laughs> I know it's uh, it's like um, a hand. A handmade thing and it fits so perfectly with my 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 paintings and then just to finish I fit everything in my my can can bag uh, and I like it because it has a water bottle container on the side and very clumsy it already happened to me that I wet everything inside of my bag but uh, yeah this uh, little bag I put inside of my backpack and it fits uh, fairly well and then last but not least I have this one that I consider a big big fail that will show you it, it's it's a blob of colors there is no drawing on it <laughs> but just saying if you are gonna try you're gonna fail because it it's it's part of it and uh, I did this one for the first time with the um, Montreal uh, plein air painter painters it's um, a little group that uh, we have here organized by uh, Carlos Salamanca and Colleen uh, I met Carlos on the Zach Retz, uh, class and it's a very fun group so if you are in Montreal and you want to try plein air maybe you can think about joining the group I, I learned a lot of seeing other people painting uh, they use the different uh, pochade boxes and um, and yeah that's it so I hope you like the video and uh, see you next time bye